And welcome back to Mega Man Free, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and we have three Doc Robot stages left. We're gonna go after Doc Needleman. This is the second easiest. It's a bit tougher than the Gemini Man stage. And now the stage is at night. This is a stage, uh, you've got to use Rush Jet a lot. You also see just how broken it is. Oh, well that's not fair. Thanks, Rush. Alright. Let's show off what Rush Jet can do. Yeah, you can move in any direction, and you will know, uh, you noticed when I was not on the Rush Jet, it was not using any weapon energy. Yeah, that'll come in handy later. Because <laughs> what you can do is just keep jumping, and it really won't consume any energy at all. It'll consume a little bit, but not a lot. Alright, so you can use Magnet Missiles or Spark Shock for this boss. I'm getting a Spark Shock just because we really won't use it after this. <laughs> yep, it's Airman, and he's quite a bit tougher. Unfortunately, he still blocks your shots. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? The wind physics just... First he was blowing me away, and then he just sucked me back up. That was weird. Oh well, at least the sh stage is pretty short. Darn it, it happened again. Go away. Oh, too pro. Man, I am running out of rush coil, actually. I didn't think that could even happen. You know what, change your plan, we're doing magnet missiles. There, it happened again. It's like the wind reversed on me. Take that. This is where you're going to be using Rush Jet a lot. By necessity. And this is where the jumping um, animation really comes in handy. Of course, the dragonflies can make it a bit difficult. Ow! I did not expect to be killed by a dragonfly. That's embarrassing. Ooh! Thank you! Let's move a bit higher up. Yeah, as you can see, Rush Jet is just really broken. And I totally forgot, I can shoot while I'm on Rush Jet. <laughs> and also, for some reason, Rush Jet will not suspend in midair after you call it. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. Hi there. Are we going against the giant met? Yeah, we are. 
and I got stuck in there. Hooray! Oh, these things grow back! Or maybe I just didn't pick that one up. No, they must grow back. Whee! On Donner! On Blitzen! Okay, now, now it doesn't grow back. Because we kind of need to preserve our rush jet just in case I die again. Rush coil! The turbo button makes this boss a lot easier. Or mini boss, I guess. Actually, not a lot easier. Propeller mats. Because regular non-propeller mats weren't uh, dangerous enough. Wee midair slide. Take that, Met Daddy. Oh, thank you for the HP. That'll help. All right. So for this next guy, you can use top spin or hard knuckles. Guess which one I'm going to use. It's Doc Crashman! And he's quite a bit more tricky. Although, an amazing thing you can do. <laughs> he literally will not damage you unless you make the first move. So yeah, he's a much better aim than regular Crash Man. But thankfully, the Hard Knuckles are super powerful. Yeah! Alright, time for the next stage. We're going to Spark Man. Most people think this is the hardest. I personally think that the Shadow Man stage is a little tougher. So, you'll notice everything in here is kind of run down. Also, get out your Shadow Blades. Because you're going to have to kill him. You can also use the Gemini Laser, but the Shadow Blade is much easier, and you've got way more ammo. So, here's a part of the stage that's kind of annoying. These little screws that try to knock you off into the spikes. And, of course, these guys don't help at all. There's a lot of instant death spikes on this course. So you just need to watch yourself for that. Oh yeah, I forgot those things are giant versions of the uh, spring heads from Mega Man 2. Get out your magnet missiles, kids, because this will absolutely decimate Doc Metal Man. Being metal, magnets attract to it. He's also quite a deal harder than regular Metal Man. Apparently. And remember that giant vertical drop in Sparkman stage? Yeah, now it's full of spikes. There's also an amusing little glitch you can do where if you hit one of the instant death spikes at the exact same time you go to the next screen, it'll make the death sound effect and all the music will stop, but you'll still be alive. It's pretty funny. I'm telling you, Magnet Missiles, they're amazing. My only complaint with Magnet Missiles is the fact that you've only got 14 of them. Alright, time for probably one of the most intimidating Doc robots in the game. 
It's Doc Quickman. You can use Gemini Laser or Search Snakes. I prefer Search Snakes because the Gemini Laser, if you miss, yeah, it's bad. Plus, Search Snakes deal a good amount of damage as well. Ow. Yeah, I didn't expect to be able to beat him in one life. Yeah, I'll show off what the Gemini laser can do to him. Oh man, the Gemini laser stinks. Oh, you can't change weapons quickly while he's damaging you? That's so dumb! While you're invincible, you can't change weapons? Lame. At least this video will be a bit longer than the last one. At least proportionally. Well, that was a bit easier! <laughs> Quick Man does not like snakes, apparently. Because they're faster than he is. Time for another stage select, and, well, gee, I wonder which one we're going to have to do. Shadow Man. Yeah. This is one of the toughest stages. And because I have no lives, I'm just going to instant game over. Also, great game over music. Why didn't it save? I thought it normally saves the game during the... Uh, when you get a game over. Thankfully, those annoying little jumper enemies have been replaced by these guys. I much prefer Mr. Suction Cup to the jumpers. Unfortunately, I actually prefer Proto Man to that guy. And then you've got these platforms, which, if you don't jump off of immediately, are going to dump you off a cliff. Also, if you kill the white bulbs, the lights come back on, and you still have to watch out for the kamikaze grenade men. <laughs> That's a really tricky part of the stage. Not the hardest part, but it's very tricky. This is the hardest part of the stage. Get out your needle cannon. At first I thought this guy's weakness was search snakes. It kind of is, but... Doc Woodman. <sighs> He's insanely powerful, and his leaf shield is nearly impossible to dodge just with a regular jump. I'm done. Like, you can jump over the leaf shield, but you need, like, perfect timing. Bravo. And that was intentional. I'm not going through this stage with no lives. Okay, yeah, that's what it was supposed to do last time. But it did not. So I was naturally curious about that. Hi, Suction Cup. You don't you guys don't mind if I call you Suction Cup, do you? The problem with Doc Wood is uh you're gonna take a lot of damage from him. And if you don't have full HP when you enter his room. Tough luck! You probably won't beat him, and then you have to do the stage from the beginning. Oh no, now I have to do the platforms of doom again. Just so I can see where I'm going. Ooh. 
That part is just so nerve-wracking. Alright, Woodman. Or Doc Woodman. You're going down! Just in case! Oh, I have never dodged that before. I've never dodged the Leaf Shield before. I've only seen Rome Mithril dodge it. <laughs> Whew. I really like that. <laughs> Just take this room slowly. And pray those guys don't be jerks to you. Blah! Oh, you know what I should have done is use search snakes on those guys. Uh Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think. I know one of this guy's weaknesses is top spin. Ever might be Gemini laser. I can't quite remember. Shadow blades, maybe? Spark shock? I don't know. Top spin. It's Doc Heat. You knew it had to be Doc Heat because he was the only robot master for Mega Man 2 we haven't faced again. Like I said, do not feel bad about using energy tanks. I'm very impressed with Topspin thus far. Not once in this playthrough have I used it and it used all of its weapon energy. Alright. And now... Breakman. But that's going to be for the next episode because that's the start of the Wily stages. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day and God bless.